This may look like the US Army is on the streets. But in fact, these are militiamen with their own alarming agenda. We were witnesses to this extraordinary development, a major US city in the hands of self-confident and heavily armed militias, with police and civic leaders nowhere to be seen. It was a brazen show of strength, with an unmistakable message that there are new sheriffs in town. Rioting and burning and looting is not going to answer that question. Angry Viking is a militia commander who told me he wants dialogue. And we're here just to protect the building. That's it. And we're here to do this. Meet. Meet and talk. You was going to allow it to happen. But that dialogue quickly descended into furious arguments. Black Lives Matter activists, who have held a vigil here for 100 days, say the militias are a pure provocation. Tired, exhausted, worn out. What else do you want me to say? Do you think it'll end up as a fight? Yes, yes. People are going to die, bro. People are going to die. I don't know who's going to be. Which militia are you from? Many of these disparate groups. Which militia are you from? Had no interest in identifying themselves. Me, sir. Which militia are you from? We are all Americans here. We're all Americans here. We're all here for the same. We're all, we're all here actually against you is what we're here against. You're impeding me from moving my group that way right now. Are you not? No, yes, you are. I'm asking you what you're doing here on the streets of this city. Well, first off, you're not American. One of the most bizarre features here is this mosaic of different groups. We've got protesters, counter protesters. We've got militias. We've got other armed groups who refuse to identify themselves. All of it is a recipe for confusion on the streets of Louisville and potentially for chaos. I'm not going to bring a knife to a gunfight, sir. And here's the danger. Americans are arming up. Nadia Ford, a grandmother, arrived here with multiple weapons to confront the white militia. We've tried peaceful for years upon years, and it has gotten us nowhere. They murder us for being peaceful. So only when we stand up do they maybe take us seriously. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to stand up against this hate in America. Eventually, some police did break cover. And this civil rights lawyer, heavily armed himself, said his aim was to run the militias out of town amid multiple threats to his life. They said they're going to blow out the back of my brains and they'll find out where I live, et cetera, et cetera. So where is America that a lawyer has to walk the streets with body armor, a pistol, and a, a long arm? Thank you. Well, because I'm going to defend myself and I'm not going to be shot down in the streets. America's militias are emboldened at this volatile moment, emerging out of the shadows in a way I have never seen before. When I move you to the street, you will load your weapon. A few miles up the road, we saw a whole new phenomenon. An African-American militia with hundreds of troops. They have a black nationalist agenda. It's as much a cult as a military formation. This is the NFAC militia. It is well organized and quasi-military. It also proves a militia does not have to be white and right wing. As hundreds of their armed followers march through a residential suburb, we glimpse their mysterious leader. Known as Grandmaster Jay, he is a charismatic but enigmatic figure. Move, move, move! Clear out! Fearing assassination, his bodyguards surround him at every moment. Jay's moving back, y'all. Jay's moving back. What is clear is that these militias have a new swagger. While the election campaign gathers pace, other forces are showing they will fill the security void after this long summer of protests and violence. Robert Moore, News at 10, in Louisville, Kentucky.